for you. Say, so introduce your name. Say, so my, my name is Brandon Drake. And shake hands, that's right, yeah. Nice to meet you, Brandon Drake. Thank you. All right, and inside Dr. Scott, you can find a gift for you that you get to keep. And it says, written by the students, written by the students in room 201. Can I put this right here? Very good. So this is a, a picture of a little schoolhouse. And I think it's some of you guys' pictures on it. So I recognize you. You're up here. Good. What else do you recognize, Dr. Scott, in with that front cover? Do you recognize anything? If you look really closely, there's something. I look like someone is in, in the windows. There happens to be somebody in the window. And then Jonathan, can you, oh, he needs to read the story a little. And then Jonathan, who's sitting next to you, will share with you another secret that's in the Okay, all right, okay. So, it said, the students of Washington Woods from 201 went to gun school several times in the fall of 2013 to do research on Holt's gun, gun school. They were so inspired by the story, by this experience, that they wrote this story. All the pictures were taken in November 2013 by Mrs. Fluke. And some of the authors are Brandon Drake, Hunter Freight, Orlando Gonzalez, Harley King Spiker, Matthew Osborne, Nicole, Nick Owl, Jonathan Savali, Joshua Schultz, Tyler Wolf, and Jana Wright. A special thank you to our friends and classmates at Washington Woods that helped us with this story. From Mrs. Susco and the paraeducators, Mrs. Fluke and Mrs. Sessions. So, the haunted house, and I just learned something by the title, that the title tells me anything, and I did not realize that. So, here it goes. Once upon a time, there was an old building on the corner of Holt and Washington Road on Washington and Hope Road with the bell on the top of the roof. The building looked like a one-room schoolhouse. Nine students from Washington Woods Room 201 wanted to see the inside of the building. One fall day, during lunchtime, the students went for a walk to look into the window. No one knew what, what they went there for. Once the students got there, Jane heard a knocking noise that sounded like a salesman knocking on the door. Half of the students were afraid, and the other half were not. Orlando quietly said, let's look in this other window. It'll be OK. So there's some pictures of that experience there. Did I just hear the door open? Oh, oh, oh. It scared me. <laughs> <You're the> ghost. <laughs> OK. Hunter Face looked very afraid. Nick screamed. Who is Nick? Which one is Nick? Nick, you scream? OK. <laughs> Let's go back to the school. Brandon, being the wiser and older student, said, let's just calm down and stay here to investigate. Just then, Jonathan Wheelchair ran to a large green and sparkle rock. The wheelchair chair tipped over and Jonathan fell off. Joshua rushed over to help him get back into his chair. As he was helping him, we saw something shiny under a rock. Chapter 2. Well, before you get to chapter two, Jonathan, what can you show Ms. Dr. Scott? What does he have to look for on the front cover? The shiny. Oh. And you know, I never noticed that before. Was that there or you guys put that there? He's laughing. Okay, I'll have to find out, right? Okay. If I keep reading, I'll find out. Okay. <laughs> Chapter two. How to get it. It's a key. And he reached out to pick it up. Tyler declared, hey, try to open the front door of the schoolhouse. Orlando volunteered to use the mysterious key to unlock the front door. Just then, Josh cried, you guys, we're going to be late for lunch if we don't leave right now. The group agreed to go back the next day to see if the key would get them into the into the schoolhouse so they could scan for any signs of ghosts. 
probably suggested that they figure out a, a plan while they were eating lunch back at Washington Woods. All the kids were hungrily munching their lunches and whispering ideas going back, going back to the, the schoolhouse. Miss Jinx was walking by. She overheard part of their talk about they found the key under a rock. At first, the kids thought Miss Jinx would spill the secret, but she seemed very really interested in their plan and sat down to listen to more. Miss Jinx leaned, learned, leaned her head up in a, in a very low voice and mumbled. Everywhere you kids decide to do would be very, very nice. When I was a student here a long time ago, my class took a field trip to the old schoolhouse and the strangest thing happened. At the, at, after the students were standing out front waiting for our teacher to lock the door, we saw two figures in one of the windows. Is that Miss Jinx right there? Miss Jinx, are you here? Is Miss Jinx here? She is not. She's one of our lunch supervisors. She went to school here? Yeah. Do you believe that? Oh, that makes it really interesting. Okay. We yelled at our teacher, Mr. Doobie, to look at it, and when, when, when he finally did, he saw the figure also. Let's get out of here. He sped back to the school after a bunch of cheetahs. <laughs> Chasing like chasing their dinner. We sped back to school like a bunch of cheetahs chasing their dinner. Mr. Doobie made us promise to never speak of this again. The schoolhouse was closed uh, ever since because the key was never found until now. Brady Nick, we have the key. What? Okay. That's Mrs. Who's was that right there? You know what? I think that's Mrs. Um, Jinx, isn't it? Yes. You guys know Mrs. Jinx? <laughs> yeah. You know her? Okay, let's see what happens. Think now. Chapter 3. Okay. Chapter 3. Josh asked for a class meeting one afternoon. Everyone met after school on the playground to talk about their plan. The students in room 201 decided to go back to the old schoolhouse after the key after school on Friday. They decided to meet at 3.45 after Mrs. Susco and Mrs. Susco had left for the day. Hartley handed off the key to Joshua for safekeeping. When Friday, when Friday finally came, the students were so excited for school to get out. They waited behind Washington Woods until they saw Mrs. Sessions give it to her car. Then they quickly snuck out over to the old schoolhouse. No one said a word because everyone felt a little nervous for what they would find. When they arrived, Josh put the key into the lock. His hands were shaking. The door creaked open. A musty old order passed over the students as the door slammed shut. Brandon and Jane jumped. That made my spine shiver, Jane screamed. The, the students looked around. They saw 21 dusty desks lined up in the middle of the room. Blackwood burning stove in the back of the room. There was a chalkboard, an American flag, a large wood, wooden desk in the front of the classroom, an old piano stood on the side of the room. As the students looked around the schoolhouse, all of a sudden Nick noticed Hunter was missing. Who's Hunter? Oh, okay. Uh oh. Oh no. He was gone. He was here a minute and gone. Nick yelled. I think I saw him going to the room. Orlando said. He pushed the door open to find Hunter zipping up his pants. Hunter <laughs> smiled. I had to go party. Okay. <laughs> Orlando looked up. The handle mechanism for the toilet was all over the ceiling. Orlando found the chain rope, rope to attach to the handle and pull. The toilet flushed and everyone got out a sign of relief. Have you guys ever seen the, the, the toilet in this building? Yeah. yeah. Some, Some of you have. Yes. One of the things we got to do before you leave is we got to show you this toilet. It is really kind of interesting. Yeah, I know. I got a picture right here. Yeah. We are before we leave, okay? All right. The students took a seat at the wooden desk. They heard a whistling noise from the vent at the top of the room. Harley asked the class, did you hear that? The room felt really silent. The students were concentrating on listening. The children from room 201 heard a thumping noise. That's come from the grades, Jonathan reported. As the students concentrated, they heard a very faint child voice whispering, Welcome to our school. I'm trying to find the grades. Where are they? Up there. 
Bilbo Cat. Okay. That's how you say it. Bilbo Cat. That looks good. Bilbo Cat. Toss the stick in the air and see if you can get if you can get the ball in it. Joe said. The students in room 201 enjoyed trying out activities that Joe and Jolene played in the 1840s. Matthew tried the, the schoolhouse bell. Oh, that's pretty good. Orlando, Josh, and Hunter looked at the lunch boxes. What are these things, Orlando asked. He picked up a black square and a little gray thing that went in it. This is a slate board, Joe, a slate board, Jolie told the students. We could do our math problems and practice our writing on it. Okay. We do our work on paper now, or the computer now, Tyler shared, I know. I peeked in the window sometime and watched the students work at your school, Jolie admitted. It's amazing how things have changed since we were in school. Joe, Jolie, and the students have been here for a little while longer. Will you play tug of war with us before you leave? Joe asked. I haven't played in years. Chapter 5. Okay. We probably should get home, Josh announced. I don't want our parents to get worried about us. Please don't leave, Jolene Bed. No one ever comes to play with us. We really enjoyed learning about how school was in 18, the 1840s, Nick said. We wish we could stay longer, Joe whined. It's getting so boring being here all by ourselves. We get sick of playing 
Bilbo Cat. Bilbo Cat and read the same books over and over again. Let's make a deal. We have to go now, but we can come back next month. We will come back every month to visit and learn, Brandon suggest, suggested. Jolene continued to beg them to stay. She asked them to dress up like boys and girls did when she attended gun school. So they decided to do that before they left. These are some neat uniforms. Maybe we could bring some of these things to our, to our to maybe we could bring some things of ours for you to try, Holly said. I'm gonna to try to bring my Pokemon for you to play with. I think these are some nice outfits that we could have, like dress codes for students, you like that? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to bring my iPad for you to try, Hunter said. The students shook hands and Joe and Jolene and thanked them for the visit. Together they walked across the field to Washington Woods and saw I can't believe what we just saw, Jonathan declared. That was the best afternoon ever, Josh was hunky clean. I can't wait to go back ne next month, Orlando yelled. Again. The, the students looked around. They 